I think I'm going to aim to do like a 30 minute workout and just see how it goes. If it's a total disaster, so sorry. Um, so you need your kettlebell. So I've got my 8K. Um, that's the only one. Well, I've got more heavier ones than that at home. But this is my lightest one at home. Um, as you know, I'm an overachiever when it comes to kettlebells. Ha ha. And also, um, I've got some bands. If you've got a band, that would be really useful. Um, if you haven't got a band, no worries. You can do it without. So, um, so that's really the drill. So we're going to start in this new crazy world by jogging on the spot. So we're jogging on the spot. We are trying to get a little bit of relaxation going on. Feeling a little bit relaxed. The more relaxed we are, the better our technique will be in our kettlebell session. We're going to raise the arms up. Taking the arms up. And we're going to take them down. And we're going to take them up. And we're going to take them down. So we're really trying to sort of shake out all that stress and anxiety we're currently feeling in our crazy new world. So just jogging on the spot. So nice to still be connected with you guys. Um, so thanks for joining me. Well on. We're going to start now by doing our hamstring curls. So we're into our curls. We're using our arms. I've just thought if there's no sand, we can make it a little bit harder. <laughs> I'm kidding, we're not really going to make it any harder. So knees are coming into your hamstring curls, using those arms. Going to do four more into your knee raises. So we're in our knee raises. We are working that body. The body loves to move. We're going to do another four, four, three, into soy toy soldier kicks. Bringing those arms round, using those legs, don't fling them too high. It'd be pretty disastrous to pull a muscle at this stage. You've got so much more to come. We've got four. Back to your jog. We're jogging. Nice and light. Try not to bang those heels down. Using those arms to get a bit of warmth through the body. So impressed that you joined me this morning. It's not easy getting your body to move. As I always say, this is tough, but you're tougher. We've got four more. Gonna go into our hamstring curls. Work curl, go. So really just a normal warm up. Very familiar, which is good because you can really work yourself into it. We've got another four. Knee raises, knee raises up. Getting those knees moving. Annabelle says go sharp. <laughs> Thanks, Annabelle. <laughs> Tori soldier kit. Up, up. So we've got the legs coming up a little bit higher. Now, sadly, we can't run up and down the beach for our cardio section. We can still make it hard in the lounge. We've got four. Three, two, back to the jog. So we're into our jog. We need to get some cardio going. We need to get that heart and lungs working. So I know you're a massive fan of jumping jacks. Charlotte's in now. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Charlotte, hi! <hold. laughs> All right. We are going to do knee raises, but this time we're going to add a little hop. So we're hopping. Side to side. And we're just giving a little bound. If you'd rather, you can keep it low. But we'll keep it high. You can always stop at any time. Have a little rest. That's a new thing. I never say that. We've got another four. Claire is on two. Lovely, Claire. Hi, morning. I said four, but I always lie about how many reps we've got. We've got... Four more, then we're going to go into a squat. So we're going to squat down, up, down, up, down, up. So as you squat, make sure your knees are in alignment with the toes, that you are making this workout work for you. 
You seem to have all your friends with you, Charlotte. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Ben, my technical assistant, who um, has been working hard to get me sorted out this morning. Lovely work, everyone. He was sad, he was sad because I was sad we were going to miss it. Let's squat and do a knee lift. Squat, lift your knee. Squat, lift your knee. So, body movement can make us feel so much better in this crazy new world. And it will strengthen our immune systems. It will make us feel amazing, hopefully. All right, we're going to do four more. And then we're going to squat and do a front kick. Two more. And here we go. Squat, kick. Squat, kick. So as you're squat kicking, make sure you're not flinging the knee. It's not a fling and kick of the knee that will hurt tomorrow. Don't hold your breath team. We've got another eight. We can do this for eight. We've got four. And then we're going to go back to our squats last time. Back to our squats. Down and up. This time we're going to do a squat in front and then do a side squat. Two more like this. I will show you. So we squat down, lift the knee out to the side. Squat down, lift the knee out to the side. Squat down, lift out to the side. And again, squat, knee lift out to the side. Squat, knee lift out to the side. One more time. Lift out to the side. Four single squat, down and up. So are you out of breath yet? I am. One more. Let's do that same thing on the left side. Lift, out, squat, lift, out. Squat, lift, out. Squat, lift, out. And again, foot four, roughly, give or take. Mass has never been my strong point. Lift, one more, <coughs> back, whoops, back to your squat, down and up. All right, you should be feeling lovely and warm now. So it's time to introduce the kettlebell. We've got two more, one more, and release. All right, you should be feeling lovely and warm. So remember, bend your knees to get your kettlebell down reach like that, otherwise you're going to ping every available muscle in your body. All right, round the world. So we're making sure we've got a nice bent knees. And when you're ready, you're going to bring that bell round the world. So round the world, connecting mind body, connecting with the bell. That so familiar bell. Stay so four and more on this side. We'll take and when you're ready, gonna reverse it in the other direction. So other direction, working those cores, working those arms. What silly person doesn't have less than an 8k at home? That will be me. Very much regressing that now. Two more. And stop. All right, you're going to stack your hands and to the back. We're going to go over to the right. So we're going to do a lovely spine twist. Oblique twist over to the right, to the center, to the left, to the center. Right, so your hips are not moving. It's just the side of your waist. Working these obliques. Should feel nice and fluid. Everything should be fluid. We've got another four. I think you can probably guess what exercise we're going to start with. The Russian swing is coming up. And release. All right, so remember, prep your bow, making sure that as though you were going to do American football, which I've never done and very unlikely to do. So 
So frapping the bow, knees in alignment with the, with the toes. And when you're ready, you are doing your Russian swing. So you want to make sure that your shoulders are in the back pocket, that you're not holding your breath. Use your breath as your power hat. So using the belt is working your cardio. You can probably hear it in my breath. I think at the beach the wind disguises, or maybe it doesn't. How about a breath I am? And again, we're going to do another eight. Why not? We can do eight, seven. Three, two, one, and let the kettlebell swing. All right, we're going to go into a plie. So knees in alignment with the toes, holding the bell in front. You're just going to go down, up, down, up. So your weight goes down nice and central. Don't tip forward or back. Things will complain tomorrow. And we've got enough things to complain about. So let's protect our knees and our backs. Let's do two more and we're going to bring in the row. So we go down, pause, row with the arms. Down, pause, row with the arms. So making sure that you feel good. You're going to have to check in, make sure that it feels lovely and fluid. If you need to adjust, then adjust. We've got another four now. So we go down. Now, if you're finding this challenging, you can just do the squat, or you can just do the row. You make it work for you. One more time. One more for luck. <laughs> it wouldn't be me if I didn't say that and release. Okay, you're gonna pop the bell down on the floor. We're gonna do jumping jacks. So jack touch. Now, as I'm not watching you, you don't have to do the full on jack touch. You can do a side jack. So you go out, 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 or you're gonna do the jack. We love a good jack. So making sure you're nice and springy on those feet, use those arms, bend those knees, keep smiling to you if you can. Let's do another eight if you can. Take it low if you need to. Four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, I think you know what's coming. We've got our plank coming. So you're going to come down onto your mat. Hopefully you can still see me. You're going to put your bell in front. You're into your plank position. Should feel slightly easier, not on the beach. And then when you're ready, you're going to do your touch plank. So you're going to go touching the bell. Now, you are solid. You are not shifting like this side to side, you reach. It's all from the hips. Your hips are square, your hips are solid. So how many do you think we should do team? Should we do, oh I don't know, another eight? Eight. We can do anything for eight. We've got four, three, two, now we're gonna hold the plank. We're holding the plank. Now do a body check, make sure your bottoms are up here or your hips aren't down there. Things will complain tomorrow. So we're holding that plank. You should feel a lovely quiver in that core. When you're ready, you're gonna do touch plank again. Here we go, reach, reach. So this should feel a lot harder. It's designed to be that way. You should feel a little bit out of breath. Because we're working, we're going to do another four, three, two, hold your plank. I can see you, I can see you, <laughs> I can't really see you, yeah. but just hearing that makes it sound very scary, doesn't yeah. 
I can't see you, but I'm expecting you to be working hard for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees, sit back onto your heels, into your child's pose. All right, team. That should have felt amazing. Right, whilst we're on the floor, let's do some work for the abs and the triceps. So you're gonna have your bell. You're gonna make sure you've got it in the, securely in your hands, holding the big stack of it. I don't know what to call that, the base, I guess. You're gonna make sure that your knees are nice and straight. One's not out here, nice and straight. Sitting on your heel, you're gonna take a lovely inhale, and you're gonna reach up, and then you're gonna drop that bell behind your head. So just do a check, check you've got a strong grip. It would be pretty bad class if you ended up knocking yourself out doing this exercise. So we reach. So this is a lovely Pilates exercise as well. In Pilates you don't use the bow, but I guess you could. So we lift and lovely. And again, we reach. So you should start to feel your triceps working. Your core is definitely working. It has to work really hard to get you from your to your knees. Let's see if we can do another four. Lift. Power with those arms. Left. Let's do two more. Let's do one more. Lovely work everyone and release. Okay, you can pop the bell down. We're just going to do a Pilates move now. So you're going to come up onto your knees. You're going to have your arms out like so. Shift a little bit. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to go back and in. You're going to lean back and in. So, with this move, you should feel a lovely activation in your core. It's not a big movement, it's a subtle movement. You should also feel it in your thighs. Your thighs are working really hard to allow you to do that core work. And you've only got 302 to go. Keep going, team. We're ready as you fall. Do a terrible line. Four. Three. Two. One more time. And release. Lovely. All right, we're going to come back up to standing for some kettlebell swings. So, again, you're going to bend your knees to grab your bell. Don't lean over you'll end up hurting your back. So, as always, prepping the bell, it's all a hip hinge, making sure you've got your knees bent, swinging the bell when you're ready. We are into our Russian swing. Now, if you have to wiggle around to get your perfect position, do that. It doesn't matter. Make sure it feels fluid. Now, when you're ready, single arm swing. Now make this work for you. You're using the other arm to do the movement too. It will burn more energy and it will get you stronger and fitter, even wherever you're doing this workout, push. So you should feel core activated. We've worked them hard, they should be working. We've got another eight, eight. I lost count. We've got four, three, two, one. Let the bow swing. Lovely work, everyone. All right, we're gonna do a squat with a clean and press. So it looks like this, it's an oldie but a goodie. You're gonna come down, Clean, press, all right? So we squat down, clean, and press. My bell hit the floor there. 
you don't really want that to happen because you'll be pushing off the momentum. Can you believe it? I did a little cheat. Certainly not. Now, remember that this move can bang onto your forearm. So you've got to catch the bell away from your forearms, otherwise it's going to feel horrible tomorrow. So we lift, power with those arms, and again, don't hold your breath. We're going to do another four. Hopefully, <laughs> this bell is so hard. No wonder I never use this one at the beach. Two more. One more time. You are looking so good. I know you are. Ah, and release. All right, before we go on to the other side, we're going to do the goddess. I don't know if Mel's with us, but Mel, I know loves this one. I love this one. So you're going to make sure you've got your legs in a plie position. You're going to come down into your plie. Tinkle your hands on the bow. And when you're ready, you're going to raise those heels up and down. So we are squeezing, how low can you go? Can you go a bit lower? I think you can. We don't even have the resistance of the sand. So that means we can definitely do quite a few more. I foot slipping, sounds easier. We've got four, three, two, hold your squat. Hands in heart position. Four, three, two, one, and release, lovely. Okay, back to our squat clean and press. So bend your knees to grab your bell. Make sure, check in, knees are in alignment with the trays. Nice and tall in the spine. Here we go, we squat down, clean, press. And again. So as you can hear, I'm coming out of breath. So I hope you are too. I hope you're working. And again. We squat. And then we do our clean and our press. Working those shoulders, working those biceps. And let's do four more after this, because my arms probably can't do any more. That's four. Three. Two, one more time, and release, lovely. All right, you're gonna jog on the spot with your bow, and then if you can, if your bell isn't too heavy, you're going to raise it up, lower it down, raise it up, lower it down. So, this is really hard, I can't deny, We've got four, three, two, one more time, and release. Lovely, we're onto the floor to do our planks. So, we're going to do my favourite plank, which one of them, they're all my favourite, which is the body saw. So, you're going to be either here in your full plank position or if you're feeling hardcore you come down onto your elbows and you're in your plank position and then all you're going to do is go forward and back forward and back so is the body sore now your core is working your hips are not up or sinking towards the floor you are Soaring that piece of wood, driftwood if you might don't mind, for four, three, two, one more time, hold your plank, hold, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four more, just four, we can do anything for four, two, one, bend your knees, sit back onto your heels, reach your arms pose, lovely, lovely team. Now I'm pretty sure I heard you say that feels so good, let's do it again. So sure you said that. So let's do it again. We're going to do the body saw. So two options, you're either up in your full plank, 
as you come forward and back, just with the heels, your heels sort of move forward and back. Otherwise, you're joining in with me. We're on our elbows for the body saw. Let's go, team. So we shift forward and back. The core is engaged. You are working. Hopefully, you haven't gone away now and gone to get a cup of tea or that coffee that we should really be having right now. For four, three, two, one more time. Hold your plank. Hold, hold, hold. For four, three, two. Did I say four? I mean eight. For four, three, two, one. Bend your knees, sit back into your child's pose. Whoever invented the child's pose, I give them kudos. Amazing. Well done, everyone. Okay. So we're on the floor, so we may as well do another uh, sit-up or a kettlebell uh, stomach exercise. So what you're going to do is you're going to lie down on your back. You're going to grab your kettlebell. You can do it without the kettlebell. If the kettlebell feels too difficult, you make this work for you. So you're going to hold the kettlebell at the base. You're going to be down on your mat. And you're going to make sure that you've got a nice neutral spine. So that means that you're sort of floating on top of the mat. Don't let your back arch and don't sort of force your back into the mat. It will complain tomorrow. So we are here on our mat. We're going to take a lovely inhale. We're going to push up for the triceps. And then we're going to come up into a sit-up. Roll down. We lift. We come all the way up into our sit-up. Now, this is quite challenging, as you will discover. So if you need to, you just do this move with your arms, and you don't do the sit-up. That is no worries. Just making it work for you. The kettlebell is making it really challenging on the core. So if you need to, you drop the bell. And in. And in. So we lift with the arms. Make sure you've got a really good grip on that bell. And you come forward. You lift. And up. And again. I think we've only got 302 to go. Before we've got abs like, I don't know, Serena Williams. And again. Not really, we're just going to do four. So this is four. And back. If I'm going too quick for you, slow it down. Make this workout work for you. One more time. And release. Okay, you're going now, we're going to do a lovely um, scissor kick with the legs. So we're going to put the bell either down if it feels too challenging, or up here. You're going to lift your legs up. And then all you're going to do is you're going to drop your legs and lift. You're going to take them down and lift. So you should feel a really deep activation on that lower, deep abdominals. And you should still feel feeling a little bit breathless because this is hard work. So we go down and up. And again, as I always say, only 302 to go. So we go down and lift. I think we're going to go for another four. If you need to, then you drop the bow. If you can't get your legs as low as mine without arching your back, then don't take your legs too far down. Should have said that at the beginning. One more time. And bring your bow down and hug your knees into your chest and just have a little roll out. Annabelle back. says it's fab shot, she's loving it. Oh, thanks, Annabelle. That's so lovely. It's so nice knowing that you're there, that you're all there working out with me in these crazy times. So, your abs should feel like mine on fire, but as you know, that doesn't put me off doing more exercise. So, we're going to come up very, very slowly. We're going to do a Russian twist. So, you're going to hold your bow and you're going to then tilt back into your 
um, sort of V sit position. So you're gonna hold your bell in the handles and you're just gonna come down and twist and twist. I'm glad you didn't all run off and go and get a cup of tea. And then we can do it after. And then you're gonna just go side to side. And if you wanna make it harder, you bring your legs up. And they go in the opposite direction to your hands. So hands and legs go in the opposite direction. And it should feel really hard because my core is feeling it. We've got four, three, two, one, and release. Just come forward, put your hands on your ankles, and just drop your head between your knees. And that should feel amazing. All right, well done. I think we're just gonna do one more quick circuit before I let you go, um, just because my caffeine is running out. So we're gonna come up onto standing. We're gonna grab our bow, remember to bend your knees. And we're gonna start with a kettlebell swing. So my aim is to do head, shoulders, knees and toes, not the song, but to work everything, head, shoulders, knees and toes. So we're gonna go back to our swing. So again, prep your bell, making sure you've got your knees in alignment with the toes. And when you're ready, you can swing the bell. Now, if this feels like enough for you today, stay here. But if you can, you're gonna tap side to side. So you're gonna tap and tap. Now what this does is it increases the cardio, heart and lung, really intensely. And you'll hear it on my breath as I'm working pretty hard. And again. So we are working the cardio. So if you want to, you do singles, just the normal Russian swing, or you do the side tap. And all I can think about is caffeine, which is pretty business as normal for me. And again, how many more should we do? Let's do another eight. As always, it's a rhetorical question. <laughs> I think that's four more, me and my rhetorical questions. You're gonna miss it really, which is why I'm not gonna let you miss it, by doing it online. I realize I missed the four. Just two more, one more, and let the bell swing. Lovely, all right. Let's do some arms. So we're in our lovely stance. We've got one leg behind, one knee in front. We're then gonna have our arm here. And when you're ready, you're gonna row the arms. Now, you, if you're feeling really wobbly, that's a good sign. That means you've worked your core really hard. So you come up. Up, out. So as though you're going to start your lawnmower, if you need to adjust, then you adjust. Can we bring in a kickback? So we go up, kick back, in. <laughs> With the AK, that feels really hard. Hmm. Yeah, Annabelle says, this is bad, we can't tell her to stop. <laughs> Annabelle, I couldn't hear you anyway. You know I never hear any negatives. I'm like, did someone complain? Certainly not. Let's do two more. I know, who's gonna rein me in? One more. And release. I keep kick your legs out. I know who's gonna rein me in. Normally, I'm looking at Claire and Ali's face color, as they know, and when it gets really red, I know I've gone too far. So other side, I think I've switched sides, I'll soon know. And then when you're ready, making sure you've got a nice bent balance, you're gonna row and release. Row up and down. So I can't see Ali or Claire's face colour. I'm sure they're looking gorgeous as always. I'm sure you're all looking gorgeous. I'm scared to say it's probably only me who doesn't look gorgeous currently setting it out here. But it doesn't have to look pretty, guys. 
she has to see me functional. Let's see the kickback. I keep telling myself that. <laughs> I always say it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be good. Well, you, you can't. You can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't help it. Four more. Oh la la. Four. Oh. And three. Let's do two more. Let's do one more. And release. Lovely work, guys. Okay, we're going to go down the ground onto the mat. And this time we're going to do mountain climbers. Now, I know you're tempted to miss these because they they hurt. Don't miss it, guys. It's really good for your strength, for your immune system. You're going to feel amazing. So, I hope I can do it, actually, because my mats are quite slidey. But I'll stop making excuses and just do it. So, we're in our lovely box position. Ready to do our mountain climbers. Here we go. So we're doing our mountain climbers. Great for the core. It's great for everything. We're going to do another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, singles. We're going to do four. Out, in, out, in, out. Let's do eight fast ones. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four singles, three, two, one, bend your knees, sit back onto your heels, Jonathan, lovely, lovely everyone, oh. okay, we're going to get the band, now if you don't have a band, last two or so exercises, then you you can do this without the band. So you can definitely do the first one without your band. But if you have a band, then what I'd like you to do is wrap it around your feet. So you've got a nice strong hold on that band. Again, if you don't have a band, don't worry about it. You can do this exercise without. You're then very slowly going to roll yourself down. We did it last week actually at the beach. So if you were at the beach last week, we're just repeating what we did, which is the Pilates move. So you're going to make sure you've got a tight grip on that band. I always like to hold mine round my hand so that it's nice and secure. Head is low and then when you're ready, take, um, your legs are in tabletop, you're going to take it out and in. So we extend out and we go in. Now it's just dawned on me that obviously Facebook Live means that anyone and everyone can tune in, so that seems quite discombobulating when I'll stop thinking about just, that. Just let you know your brother was watching at one point. Oh no, my brother was watching, did he say hi? No. How rude. I mean, I should be complaining about that later. So your legs are long and you should start to feel a lovely deep core connection. It's one of those that you feel it more tomorrow than you do at the time. We're working the thighs, we're working those legs. So we're going to do four more. Again, you could do it without. So you keep going with the, with the band, but you could, I was going to show you without, but I don't think I need to. You know what it would look like without. And then you're going to stop. Now, we're going to add on to that. We're going to do something called the teaser. Again, we did it last week in Guess of Ours at the beach. So if you don't have a band, don't try and do this because you can really hurt your back when you do the momentum. So you don't want to do that. So if you've got a band, you're going to join in with me. If you haven't got a band, then you go back to that exercise that we just did. I'll just quickly show you. So you'd just be here doing this. Or if you're feeling really hardcore, because this is the last exercise, your legs are up here, and you go down and up. So this is if you don't have the band, all right? If you've got the band, you're going to do the teaser with me, which is a lovely Pilates move, one of my favorites. They're mostly all my favourites, so you're going to wrap your band around your hands. You're going to roll back down onto into your tabletop position. You're going to make sure you've got a really good grip. My band is quite weak and willful. I should probably should not have told you that. And then when you're ready, you're going to take a lovely inhale. You're going to exhale the legs long. You're going to knock the chin and you're going to come up into your teaser position. So in this teaser position, You've now got a deep connection in the core. 
your legs should be shaking, your core should be shaking, and then you bend your knees, you roll back down. And let's do three more. Inhale here. Exhale, take the legs up. Nod the chin and come up. Oops, and you can see that your legs and your core, when they get tired, your legs go down. Or you can't get this high. So you might be here and you might be like, ah, that's okay. That's just where your body is today. Sometimes I can get much higher than other days. And then you bend your knees, you roll back down. I think that means we've got two more. Stick with it. Inhale. Take the legs long. Nod the chin. Exhale up. Now, as you exhale up, you really don't want to be flinging your neck. If you fling your neck, then it's going to hurt to worry. And we've got enough worries, let alone with a sore neck. And then you're going to bend your knees. Roll back down. Let's do one last exercise. I promise it's the last one. You're going to inhale. Exhale, take the legs long. Inhale up the chin, exhale, roll up. So now when you're holding, you should feel a really good quiver in that core. If you didn't, you didn't work hard enough, then you'll have to do it all again. I'm kidding. Of course I'm kidding. I know you worked hard because it's hard. All right, we're going to hold it for four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, roll back down. You can get rid of your hand. You can hug your knees into the chest, rock side to side. And release. All right, just take your legs nice and long. You're gonna point your toes away from the center line of your body. Flex the toes up to the ceiling. Point your toes away. Flex and point. Flex and point. So that's a lovely stretch for the calf. You're going to bring one knee in towards the chest and just hold it there. Now if you are pulling on your knee, don't, you don't need to. Just hold it where it feels good. Try to stop engaging your bottom and your hips because when we do this kind of movement, you really try and like tense everything up. But this is the cool down now. You did it, my star pals, you did it. So knee to the chest. Now, when you're ready, you're going to take that knee across the center line of your body. So you're taking it over, over the center line of your body. And then if you can, you're going to bring your arms and your head in the opposite direction for a lovely spine twist. So you should feel a lovely twist in the back of your back, lower part of your back, and also your hip flexors. And that should feel amazing. And if you're a runner, this is an amazing stretch to do. Stretches all your thigh, your hip flexor. And then you're going to come back to the centre line, take the leg along, going to do the other side from hugging the knee into the chest. So these exercises I don't normally do, like this stretch on the sand, because we'll end up being licked to death by a dog or three. Um, and it's often cold and wet, so we don't normally do the stretch, but these are lovely ones that you could do. And then when you're ready, again, don't engage that bottom and the hips, let them sink into the mat. And then when you're ready, you can take this leg across the center line of your body. And then you then, if it feels good, you're going to take your head and your arms in the opposite direction for a lovely twist. Now, if you have any back issues, keep looking in the same direction as your knee, because the spine twist will feel too, too challenging. And I'm sure you're all really sick of the sound of my voice now, but we are nearly there. And then we're going to go back to the center. We're going to bring our knees in bent position and then you're just going to draw up your legs out to the side, bring the bottoms of your feet together and then you should feel a lovely stretch in the inner outer thighs. That should feel amazing. Really lovely stretch. Now again, disconnect your bottom and your hips. I was gripping mine really hard and that's what most people do but we don't want to do that. Just let them go and just feel the stretch. And if it feels good, you're just going to close your eyes and just catch your breath. When I'm teaching Pilates, I like to think about inhaling good health, exhaling stress. So let's just do a couple of those. Inhale, deep inhale on the inner core from the center core. Inhaling good health and exhaling all that stress and worry. 
One more time. Deep inhale, inhaling good health. And exhaling. Oh, that stress. Lovely. <clears throat> Lovely. And just hold it there. All right, when you're ready, you're going to bring those knees back to the centre. You're going to drop your knees over towards your device, I guess. And then you're going to push up the centre and then you're very slowly going to come up to standing. Just going to do a couple of arm stretches and then I'm going to let you move on with your day. So you're going to take a lovely arm across the chest. Watch you're stretching out those shoulders. I think mine are going to hurt tomorrow doing an 8K. It's going to be I'm going to feel that tomorrow. And then you're going to take that arm down. You're going to bring the arm up and behind your head for a lovely um, tricep stretch. Don't tuck your chin into your chest. So I, I think I'm just going to, if you like it, I mean, if you switch me off ages ago, I can't say I blame you. But if you do like it, then I intend to do this every Saturday morning and just try and have a little bit of normality and drop down a little bit of normality, connecting with you wonderful guys um, every Saturday morning. Um, and just try and make the best of it, I suppose. That's all we can do. If I'm really super keen, I might do some workouts in the week. I guess it depends how much um, sort of cupboard sorting and homeschooling one can do. And release, bring your arm up into a tricep stretch. Don't drop your chin into your chest. Um, so, you know, when you, when you have to sort out a cupboard, you're quite quiet, aren't you? So I guess this is my lovely outlet to uh, keep listening to the sound of my own voice and release and you're going to take your legs into a plie position take a lovely inhale drop the knees exhale reach up inhale exhale getting that blood through the knees two more times and one more time exhale inhale shake it out team you did it well done thank you so much for joining me um, I hope you feel amazing and I can't wait to see you soon.